I'm Chase. I buy storage units at auctions with my two companions, and I show you what reality TV doesn't. Welcome to Chase Thrifts. All right, guys, we are at the storage unit we just bought. I am super excited to get into this unit and check it out. Uh, I just talked to the facility owner. And they said this unit sat for almost two years because he was a military personnel, but they finally auctioned it off. Obviously, if I find any military stuff, I'll give it back to the family like I always do. But we're really just excited about this boxing ring in here. Let's check it out and see if it's actually the full ring or not. So in this particular unit, there is no need for a lock. They have these keys right here they give us. The whole locking mechanism out. Here we go. Let's get in this unit and see what kind of treasures we got today. All right, first off, the reason this unit was bid up so high is because there's military items in here. You really can't see them. They're all hidden. But... There's a military box. This, I bought some like this. And look at that. This stuff has new tags on already. Holy cow. This is awesome already. This is a... F oh my gosh. Look at this. This is a full... I'm already excited. This is a... I can't, I'm trying to tell you what it is, but I don't know. Anyways, we'll get that later. Let's go through here. The boxing wraps right here. Um, it just looks like other stuff. So, at first I did not know what was in this unit at all. I thought it was just athletic equipment, some, some weights and stuff from what the pictures looked like. I sent this unit to my buddy who's never bought a storage unit before, but we've, he's helped me in the past. I sent him some pictures of the unit and he calls me back and goes, oh my God, Chase, I think I cracked the code. He told me this might be a unit with a full boxing ring in it. And I think, I think it's all here. We have to go through it and make sure the whole boxing ring is here. And if it is, it's an $8,000 boxing ring. And we could pick this thing up for $220. One of our first doubts was we could only see this pole in, in the pictures. There was no other poles. But I told him, I bet they're all lined up perfectly where you can't see them. And look at that. All four poles are there. So these are the sides of the boxing ring where you put your uh, corners at. So there's a red corner and a blue corner. This is just a big beanbag chair. But this is the boxing matting right here. This is soft matting that you put on top of this hard cover right here. And here we go. There is the corner of the boxing ring. There it is. Title. Rips in it. It's gonna have some use, obviously. Yep, here's the corner, here's the side corner for the ring. Belterra Casino, which is pretty uh, it's a local casino, about three or four hours away. Corner that you attach to one of those poles right there. This is all the padding. And let's get in here and look at the most the other stuff. There is the stands where it gets raised up. There's a bunch of them underneath there. Let me go through here and show you. All right, so there's the stands. Obviously, we're gonna, put, we're gonna try to put this together for you guys. These are the ring ropes for the side of the ring. See the ring ropes? Look at that. There's the blue, there's the red. And then there's the white ring ropes. Crazy. This guy is obviously in the military. Insane, right? It's really insane. I don't want to put too much more detail on it because I don't want to get anyone in trouble or myself. So yeah, there's a full boxing ring here. There's a ton of Army National Guard stuff. I'm leaving some of the military stuff here for tomorrow to go through. There's a lot of military stuff. All right, guys, you won't believe what I just found. I just found this awesome crossman bb gun all right so we got a mp5 here with the collapsible stock fully automatic it's pretty sweet it's not going to fire because i don't have any bullets in there but this thing is awesome also got a <laughs> a child size bow and arrow set here so you can make fun of me but yeah i'm not going to put a hole in the <laughs> storage unit place but this box back here is full of headgear and boxing equipment so there's like some headgear right there a, a nuts protector i'm gonna call it i don't box either but that's pretty cool like take your penis when you're uh, boxing right and then we got some of the uh gloves the training gloves i got a few friends that actually box and kickbox and do mma and uh they're pretty good at it there's a lot of stuff down there i haven't got through it all yet i'm bringing some stuff home to take a look at the rest of the stuff but tomorrow, tomorrow we'll be back 
and to load this stuff up on a big trailer. And we'll see. Uh, we're looking at buyers right now to buy the ring right now before we even get back because we live about an hour away from here. So if we can find a buyer to buy it, we're going to sell it before we put it together. But that wouldn't make a good video, would it? We're going to see if we can put it together and have a boxing match because that's, that's good YouTube content right there. Stay tuned. We'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, we're back home. And I know I cannot just not look at this crate. I showed it to you a little bit in, early in the video, but let's go uh, full length look at this before we get into the actual unit more in depth tomorrow. So you guys saw this uh, titanium jacket earlier. It's about 125 to 150, but the inside lining is missing somewhere and I'm guessing maybe it's back at the unit or it's just not there in general. Donna, I don't want to hear it right now. I'm watching this kid on YouTube. A brand new, uh, it's called a medium transport pack. This is brand new, about 50 bucks. Did that mother just say what I thought he said? So we have a, a basically a full uniform, an ACU uniform. Look at this little snowflake on YouTube. I got, I got a comment on this. You are a waste of life. Go kill yourself. I hate you. Period. Uh, so here is the full jacket of the ACU right here. Here is a cold weather. So this is most of the stuff has most of the stuff has brand new tags on it. You can see it's a cold weather um, pants right here. It's obviously an ACU2 flight pants. Okay, so we also have the normal pants right here. ACU pants. We have new with tags. We have some thermal wear. That's a there's a badge. Um, some thermal wear, some nice, nice stuff. 10, 15 bucks with the new tag. Combat shirt right here. These are flame retardant, uh, fire retardant. I think you're a little military retardant there, Tinkerbell. Combat shirts, these are pretty neat. Uh, you can put your patches on the side if you need to. I've, so I've have had a few of these. I have some knee pads right there with uh, ACU camo on them. Thank God you found some new knee pads. I bet yours are a little worn out there, Donald Duck. And then we have another cold weather undergarments right here. So this is an undershirt. So we have the shirt and the pants right here. We have one glove. And then we have his uh, combat patches. Um, honestly, don't know what that means. I'll oh, you don't know what that means, Blue Falcon? Those are clearly 201st Battlefield Surveillance Brigade patches. And then there's some a black and white American flag. I have a bunch of these down in here. These in here, a bunch of little American flags. There's a bunch, there's a bunch of these in there. This is really neat right here. This is a um, a light for your helmet. So it straps onto your helmet up somehow. A light for your helmet, which is not working. It needs a battery right here. Woman, toss me a goddamn bear. Looks like you got your hands on an H1A2 combat helmet tactical light there, Snowflake. A sun hat, army sun hat. See, it's all rolled up in a ball. To show this to you real quick before we get started tomorrow uh, and getting the ring out of the unit and all that good stuff. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Wanda loves snow. You love snow, Wanda? Huh? You love the snow? Yeah. Yeah, you like the snow? No. <laughs> all right, so we're back at the unit. We have my buddy and his other friend came here to help me. We're looking at some buyers to come buy this right now. He, he knows some UFC fighters in town that may be interested in this boxing ring. We're gonna try to sell it for a couple grand, 2,500 or so, uh, which just seems pretty decent to me. I'm not gonna be fighting on the on it, mainly because it's 10 degrees out and we put it in the garage and get hit with a, <laughs> a cold glove. I do not wanna do that. we will be negotiating with some uh, UFC guys with my elf hat on. So, you know, that's how I, that's how I dress today. I don't, I, I don't know why. So we'll keep you informed here. We're uh, moving it out right now. And I better go help them because they're probably getting pissed.
All right, so we got this army box right here. His name was on it, so we, we crossed it out. Uh, we couldn't get it open at the, at the unit because it was locked, but I was going through some uh, some random like boxes of trash. We actually, we actually found these keys laying around. And look at that, look at that, it just, just came right out. That's, I don't know how amazing that is if we found the, the exact same key. All right, so I'm just gonna unveil this, unveil the box for the first time. Oh man, that's a lot of military stuff. Let's get down in there and look at it. Some more tag stuff. Oh, those are the... Aviator the pants, another set. Aviator pants, okay. Another bag. Sweet, another bag. Another tag bag. God dang. <laughs> oh Jesus. Two of them. Two fucking, two Oakleys. This one, that one's in just a different case. My gosh, uh, how much do you think those are worth? Hundred, hundred and a half, something like that. Hundred, hundred, dang. Oh, oh that's, another one. that's a Surefire uh, tack light? Yeah. That's like a couple hundred bucks. And when it goes online for like, was it four or five hundred for those? Oh my gosh. This is a weapons clean case. Ooh, that looks nice. Dang, we found like three of those so far. And then we got, oh. Oh my God. <laughs> Is that one of those combat shirts? Yeah. My, my goodness. Cold weather or wet weather gear. Dude, what the fuck? Crazy. Knee pads. More knee pads, like 17 oh, knee shit. pads. Oh, oh my fucking. Look at this. Oh shit. What is that? Well, I'll get my fingerprints all over it now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's locked though. I wonder if some of those keys unlock that. I don't know. It's not locked. It's unchambered, right? Yeah. Okay. It's got a lock through it. Oh my gosh. Uh... <laughs> Set that to the side or? Yeah, I guess it's over here. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, we found a gun. Or that? Yeah, we gotta do the protocol going through the police and everything. Is that two or is that this one just got That's just there? the same one. Okay. That's crazy, man. I found that too. Some hat. And we got this already oh, out here. That's crazy. A freaking gun. Yeah, we have to look at that I'm more. I'm not really in, concerned in, with it being like in a shooting or anything. It's, <laughs> it's just hanging out down the fucking the bottom of the barrel. Get the cold. Get that checked. There's a bunch more clothing and stuff. I can go through this more, like more in detail. Yeah, I'm just trying to go through and see if there's anything. Any, in any more guns? <laughs> any more guns? Yeah, yeah. The box for the Oakleys. Yeah. Toss it back here. Oh, there we go. There's a bunch of knee pads and stuff. Smith & Wesson 40? Mm -hmm. There's not another magazine on there or anything. Was that like a 9 mil? 40 cal. 40 cal, yeah, that's why it's called 40, okay. <laughs> I don't know what that key we had. There's no, I don't think that's on there. There's a key ring in it. Uh, back right there on that table. We're gonna see if we can get this lock off right here with those keys. Is that it? Yep, okay. That's it. Should be it. No way. <laughs> no way. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh my. You did it to the wrong person. That's not good. <laughs> Just random one. We gotta get tired. Take that to the cops and. Yeah, I do, do the whole. That. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that's amazing. What, what do you think that one's worth? A couple hundred bucks? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Smith and Wesson 40? Maybe. 300 or so, maybe four, depending on where. I don't know. I'm not familiar really. Oh, <laughs> waited that long for it. That's a pretty good. Uh, so that was a really good uh, little crate right there. That's that's the last crate that we have. So also, wait. I want to show you guys later on all the boxing gloves and stuff. So, what do you think, Wanda? What do you think, what do you think Wanda? 
<laughs> God, just the weavers. Like, that's the first gun I ever found like that. So this is the end. Thanks for watching my video, guys. Here is the boxing ring. Sitting nice and cozy in my garage. It was four degrees this morning. Way too cold to be doing stuff. I'm going to be doing a follow-up video here after this in about a week or so to go through everything I got. I want to give you a grand total of how much we got out of this unit. Uh, it's, a, it's a great unit, obviously. We got a gun, <laughs> a ton of military stuff, a ton of military stuff. So much I can't even go through it all in one, one week. Yeah, we're planning on selling this boxing ring for $2,500. This is pretty low ball for a boxing ring this size. It is actually a 20 by 20 foot boxing ring. Gigantic. So we didn't have anywhere to set it up at to uh, actually show it to you. I sell it for $2,500. Probably have another $4,000 worth of equipment to go with the boxing ring and, and military supplies. So we did very good in this unit. I, I enjoyed it all. If you guys want to check out my Facebook link down below and my eBay link down below, feel free to click those links. Next time I'll be uh, showing you every single item we got, including the gun. We actually put that into, uh, we gave it to the police to check it out. That's the protocol for finding guns inside storage units. You get to take it to the police. They run the serial numbers and if it runs okay, you get it back. Check out the links down below. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Hey, tossing that machine gun. Hey, tossing that machine gun. Can we make that funnier next time? <laughs> yeah. A woman tossed me a goddamn bear. What the f is this? Dude, that's, I don't is that know. Where all the beers ran off to? Yeah. <laughs> you don't know Jack shit. Period. I can't believe this, they let this guy have a, a goddamn YouTube channel.